Hey, I'm Sean. You might also know me as SD-53. Uh, I'm 20 and I'm from Kildare. And my teammate uh, for the LAN is Lukey or Luke. And I've been playing with him since he started Rocket League. And also another thing is I usually play Rocket League on PS4. Uh, something that you might not know about me is I've been playing guitar since I was about 12. Uh, I played a few gigs and I actually played at graduation um, in front of about 300 people, uh, which is like quite an experience and I never really played in front of that many people. Like most of the gigs were just like uh, a few people or like friends and stuff like that. I really enjoy music in general and I actually play piano as well and I completely taught myself piano from scratch just using YouTube uh, but I did have a few guitar lessons when I started out and actually the guitar lessons I had inspired me and last summer I ended up teaching four kids uh, guitar lessons myself and I'm just really into music in general. I found Rocket League uh, when it was free on PS Plus uh, and decided to give it a go and just kind of messed around with it and I was like really getting into it so I sent it to Luke and then it all kind of went from there and uh, the two of us were playing it all the time uh, nearly every day and I started to ignore other games and like oh, we were absolutely terrible at the start though like I watched some replays back there that we had saved and all oh, was a disaster. Uh, so definitely didn't know we'd kind of get anywhere in Rocket League. Uh, like we kind of played it casually for a long time. We actually didn't even go near ranked for probably the first half a year or so when we were playing. And then when we did get into ranked, we were probably stuck around gold or like platinum for ages. It was kind of when we got to GamerCon that we started to get that motivation and that drive to kind of take things more seriously. We got a taste for competitive Rocket League, as it were. And then also, like, the monthly tournaments that were coming up gave us an incentive to, like, improve and kind of show up. Um, also, like, from Rocket League Ireland, uh, because of that, I kind of got into YouTubers from Rocket League. So the first YouTuber I started watching was Bluffles. And then from there, I kind of went on to the, uh, Rizzo and Sales and Squishy Muffins and just kind of watching players that were so much better than me and like doing these mad seedling shots and so made me want to improve myself and get as good as they were. Uh, and then also I kind of got into watching Oral CS. Um, I was kind of raging. I, I missed Justin score that equalizer in the last second, but unfortunately some people uh, had better things to be doing <laughs> um, and then I kind of found Rocket League Ireland at GamerCon um, I met the likes of Enron or I kind of know him as Rob and then Forehead and Junior was actually on my team then so it was me, Luke and Junior and we managed to come second and got ourselves a nice bit 100 euro prize there uh, the atmosphere was great and we got along with everyone like, it's just kind of great crack in general. I, even though the first day was a bit of a disaster, uh, for some reason, GamerCon decided it would be a good idea to just give the Xboxes to the Rocket League section. And so nothing would work. But luckily, the second day, Rob managed to save save us by stealing some PCs from the CSGO people. I actually can't wait for LAN. It's going to be really cool, uh, especially because I get to meet people that I've been talking to on Discord for ages. Like, it's gonna be cool to see people on in person for real, and then also getting to catch up properly with people I met at GamerCon. Um, and just having the crack in general and going out on the set with the lads. Um, I think our chances probably be quite low of winning the tournament. Um, I just hopefully we come around mid tier. I feel like our letdowns would probably be like rotations or me over committing but i feel like since we've been playing together since the start our chemistry is good we'll have our passing down and like I'm working on my areas and wall plays so hopefully they might come off well for me um i feel like the mogan future would have the best chance to play a win in the tournament and i'm looking forward to coming up against cans so uh, i feel like we're quite close on the on our level uh I'd also like to give a shout out to Sarah, my girlfriend, for putting up with me 
And then also for dealing with the long spans of time where I wanted to fly to her because Rock League was taking over my life. Um, shout out to Luke because I started out playing Rocket League with him and the two of us kind of kept each other interested. We'd always kind of use that as a way to catch up. We didn't see each other. And then also just having like good crack playing. And then I wanted to give a shout out to Rob as well. Uh, he kind of helped get us into Rocket League a bit more, introduced us to the more competitive side of it. And he kind of he did a great job at GamerCon, even though the first day didn't go so great. And then like just the tournaments that him and all the lads organized with the Discord and stuff just really helped to keep us interested in Rocket League, keep it relevant in our lives and stuff. Um, my parents do know that I play Rocket League. Uh, Dad wouldn't be too impressed now. He'd rather me be be outside. You know those older generation people. They just don't don't understand technology. Um, also, I just want to give a shout out to the Discord in general and just all the crack I've had with all the lads and people that I played with have given me tips and stuff on how to improve. I feel like my enthusiasm for Rocket League probably wouldn't be as good as, as it is if it wasn't for all of you. So, thanks.